Hello again. My name is Kevin. You're watching Leatherneck Prepper. Went to the grocery store today to pick up some stuff, and while I was there, I happened to see these. Never really thought about buying them for storing for ease of making cornbread if something were to go crazy. I love cornbread, especially when I'm grilling something. And if things were to go absolutely bat soup crazy, you'd be doing a lot more grilling. At least, uh, that's my mindset. So cornbread goes great with anything you fry, bake, or grill. Just cornbread all by itself is a great meal. And <clears throat> this one you add milk or water. This one you have to add an egg. So I'm not 100% sure how that would work. I'm gonna try doing this using um, powdered eggs and see how that goes. Mix in what would be the equivalent of powdered egg into some water and then put it in here. So I'm thinking it'll be fine, but you never know. These do have a best buy date of June, June 7th, 2024. Of course, being sealed up like this in this type of pouch, it's gonna last a whole lot longer than what it says. It may not rise as much, but it's gonna last a lot longer. And the reason I say that, is because I've got some Jiffy corn muffin mix that has lasted me. I bought it several years ago and just totally forgot that I even had it. So when I found it, I started using it a lot more. And it's still really good, very moist, very flavorful. Uh, just didn't pop quite as tall. So even if it's not as tall, and it's two years out of date by the way. So even if it's not as tall, that's still good cornbread. So. I'm just going to store these in my food storage area as is. I'm not going to change them around. Now, to the purpose of the video. <clears throat> January 23 is when I labeled this. It's going to be Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. I purchased this one this morning. I only got the one. <clears throat> Reason is... I want to test it. I'm going to buy more just for eating, but I'm going to test this to see how long I can leave it in here, and a few years later I'll pull it out and test it. So, it gives me my serving size per, uh, per container, and I'm going to cut out the instructions, tear them out, and put it in here as well. Now the reason I think this didn't pop quite as much is because when you open these, like I'm getting ready to do, You look on it oh by the way this one expires in 11 of this year so November of this year's its best by date when you open these they're just folded over in a little there it is a little pouch they're not sealed at all so slowing anything into it and what I've noticed with the others that I have and I still have six more that are out of date they <clears throat> have clumped up a lot so what I do before I mix it is I take a fork and I break up all the big clumps. Now, using a Mylar bag like this, I don't try to vacuum seal them. And the reason I don't vacuum seal them is I've had very little success even doing it ways that other guys have. And it may just be that my vacuum sealer uh, the thing that heats it up, it, it's not strong enough to heat up the bag plus the little strip of, um, oh, I can't think what it's called now. The normal vacuum seal bags that you take and you cut a small section and run it so far down in it and it sucks the air out just through that one end. So I've had very little success doing that, but it does, um, I have had it work, but it's just not worth the effort using the current one I have. I also am not having any luck vacuum sealing these. So I bought all the stuff to do it with and it just, it's got the attachment on it. It's just not working properly. So I'm doing it this way. Now, putting the oxygen absorber in it would be good. The bags that I have, I always write on it before I do anything else. That way it's nice and flat and I can write as neatly as I can because I don't write very neat to begin with. I'm just going to open up my bag, get my muffin mix ready, 
make a little spout. And dump it in. Oh! <laughs> I was getting ready to say, hopefully without making a mess. And you see how quickly things can go sideways. So, it's all in there, all out. See how much is in here. Now, I bought these. These are small. I don't, I don't want to say they're a quart size. I don't want to say it's quart size. And I got the pleated bottoms. These are real thick. Um, I paid a little bit more for them, and they're resealable. That's another thing I like about them. So <clears throat> when I do this, I keep them in jars, and they seal up really quick. Pull it back out, throw that in there, put the lid back on it, and within 15 minutes, that's going to seal right back up. That's the beautiful part about putting them back in there. Now I know this is still good because... It's still nice and pliable. It's not hard. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I almost forgot. Tear out the instructions. There. Let's reopen this. Throw my instructions back in. You can also tape these instructions <clears throat> on the side of the box, but or the package. I've just found I like doing it like this. Seal it up. Now it's got a lot of the air already out of it. The next thing we do, which I should have already done but didn't, break out my vacuum sealer. I just got another one. I ordered it, actually. I haven't gotten it yet. And it's on its way. This may not work. Cording long enough. We're going to do it this way. I'll change things around a little bit. <clears throat> and it's a commercial grade one. Um, I got it through my company's website through awards that I've gotten over the year. It had a lot of points. Set this up, I hit seal only. So I didn't pay anything for it, and they're quite expensive. They're over $100. Um, I'll find this one online and give you an exact price when I get it and show it to you, Put make a video about it. With these being thicker bags, what I also like to do is let this thing cool down, which was another reason why I chose to... Uh, buy another one. I've had this one now for like seven years uh, and it's worked very well but you can start it's starting to give its uh, show its age. It doesn't vacuum quite as quickly and you have to give it I think it's 20 seconds in between each time you try to seal so open it back up so it can cool down wait just long enough hit seal a second time to make absolutely sure I've got a great seal and then before I put this away completely for storage, um, I'll check it in about 24 hours and make sure that the bag has uh, kind of drawn up some, which is another reason why I like to take them. Hang on a second. Sorry about that, had some tea start to boil. <clears throat> and I like to take them and check them. Make sure that they're sealed nicely. So anyhow, I know this was a longer video, uh, a lot longer than what I need to be to show you how to do this. I usually am real quick about stuff like this. But anyhow, I hope you guys got something out of it. If you did, give it a like, give it a share, Leave a comment below if you got a different way that you like to do things uh, as far as vacuum sealing and all. And remember, there are a few problems in life that cannot be solved by Battleship Broadside. Have a good one, guys.